This segment of the news is brought to you by Great Basin College, a pioneer in distance education. Your success is their tradition. Now offering over 25 degree and certificate programs in Pahrump and online. Welcome back to News 46. The Prump Valley Chamber of Commerce had a ribbon cutting Saturday at a new salon in town. Hello and welcome. I am Sue Bai with the Prump Valley Chamber and we're very excited to be here today to welcome one of our newest members. This is Denise Corey and she is the owner of Aqua A Salon and we're located here at 1520 East Highway 372. Uh, brand new to uh, the community here with this business and we welcome her and wish her much success. So Denise, at this time, would you please cut the ribbon? Sure. Awesome. All right. We will be doing hair color, hair cutting, pedicures, tanning. Tammy Floyd will be here starting June 1st. So she offers high-end pedicures, tanning, everything. Yeah. Awesome. So tell us where we're located. 1520 East Highway 372. My cell is 775-513-6932. The salon phone number is 775-727-7275. Congratulations. Well, we caught up with Deborah Strickland recently, who is a longtime owner of Strickland Construction. Strickland Construction specializes mostly in well drilling, re-drilling, pump setting. And so if your pump goes out at your home, we can take care of that. We also take care of your septic tank needs should you have your septic tank fail. So you've been here for many years, haven't you? 1973. Strickland Construction located on Homestead Road. You also have access realty, don't you? Yeah. What we did is we combined forces January of last year. And so Strickland isn't down there on Homestead any longer. We're uptown, oh, back again, there you go. joining Kim Washington and her team at Access Realty. So uh, people can give you a call for all the construction needs? Yes, and they can use access to acquire the land. We can go develop it, and we'll find you a builder. Just one location to do all, your, all yes. the jobs that you need. Yes, absolutely. Be, your, be the new customer to Pahrump. You're going to love it. Tell me, how do you think the construction industry is going now? Oh, it's so phenomenal. Yeah. Things are through the ceiling by comparison. Yeah. It's really nice to see everybody busy again. I remember so, back in the day, I know. <laughs> back in the day when, when we were really down, we would see a concrete truck go down the road and go, oh my gosh, I thought they were extinct. <laughs> I remember back in the day when you'd see everybody building everywhere, so I'm yes. hoping to see that again, especially with um, yes. Strickland Construction. To find out more information, give you a call. Yes, do call us at 775-727-4600. And for more information, is there a website or Facebook page? Absolutely. Uh, www.strickland.construction.net. And representatives from the Nevada Gourd Society made a stop in Pahrump to tell us about this very versatile art medium. Uh, the Nevada Gourd Society is fairly new for Nevada. It's a chapter of the American Gourd Society. Many of uh, the states throughout the United States belong to them, have the, their own gourd societies that belong to the American Gourd Society. We're looking around the room right now and there's a lot of artwork made from gourds. What are gourds? Well, they're uh, relatives of the squash family. They're like cousins of squash and pumpkins. Mm -hmm. But these type gourds grow with a, a woody finish. When they dry out, they're nice and woody and you can do all kinds of artwork on it. You can make musical instruments, you can make vases, vessels, birdhouses, and artists just love the medium because they can carve into the wood and uh, they can do wood burning on them. And they're just really fun to grow in your own backyard. Are they also edible? No, these type gourds are not edible at all. They, uh, they don't taste good except maybe to um, squirrels and rabbits might chew on them a little bit, but. <laughs> it seems that there's all different types of things that you can do with them. How can people find out more? Well, they need to contact the Nevada Gourd Society. That's one way. Uh, we have a website, uh, nevadagourdsociety.org, and um, 
The Nevada Gourd Society actually has two groups, one in the Reno-Carson area and then the one we have here in Pahrump. You can grow your own gourds, right? Absolutely. Many gourd artists grow their own gourds, but if you don't have gourds of your own, you can purchase them. There are gourd farms um, in California and Arizona, and we even have a local gourd farm here in Amargosa. Uh, it's run by Enos and Gary Ackerson, mm -hmm. and so anyone who's interested in working with gourds can go to their si site and um, and go by and pick up some gourds, get started. And Darby has a dog with her today that's available to adopt right now. Hi, I'm Darby here at Desert Haven Animal Society and today we are joined with Dice. Dice is a 10 month old Australian cattle dog healer mix. He is white and red with like a bunch of little spots on him. He is just full of energy and is just the sweetest little baby. He gets along with other dogs. We're not sure about cats, but he is just a sweet baby with beautiful blue eyes. And he is just looking for his forever home. So you should come on down and see him here at Desert Haven Animal Society. They're also always looking for volunteers. So you should come on down and volunteer to pet the puppies and the kitties. They're on Surrey Lane behind the Nye County Courthouse. You can give them a call at 775-751-7020. You can look them up at deserthavenanimalsociety.org or check them out on Facebook at Desert Haven Animal Society. Bye, guys. Bye. Well, I know it's kind of looking cloudy this morning. Let's see on our weather cam how the day is panned out. Oh my gosh, that's picture perfect, isn't that? And uh, we'll have Noah here who's going to tell us what's in store for our weather right after this. 